Hello guys and welcome to FGC season at Meltdown. We are running Eunice today. We have a hefty five-man bracket. Uh, so we're gonna... <laughs> Massive, <laughs> immense. Uh, Biggest Eunice has ever seen. So we're gonna be running as a round robin instead. Um, and the top two players in that round robin will be doing a winner's final between themselves. And the winner will take home the pot, which stands at a whopping 25 pounds. 25 pounds. 25 quid, that's a lot of cocktails. I could buy like five lunches with that, it's great. You could get two rounds, two Meepos of Sambuca. Two Meepos, there you go. I would do you two rounds, I would do you two Meepos of Sambuca for that price. Easy, easy. Yeah, 12, yeah, easy. You get change as well, you have one pound change. Uh, so first up on stream, we're gonna have Muda and Jin. Uh, <laughs> Where's Keelan gone? Keelan's already shitting himself. He's that he's just he's terrified of Jin. What? He's petrified. Nah, this is gonna be this is gonna be a good match, good clean match. Uh, we're playing first to three guys. Oh, uh, this is all best of fives as well, nice. Yeah? Sick. I mean there's five people, so we have we have yeah. the time, we have the technology. We have the setup, so we even have a spare setup. Five is the magic number. <laughs> Uh, and we're also going to get another match on the... Uh, John, can you play on setup over there? Uh, you'll be playing against Paul Dare? Poly Dare. Poly Dare. Poly Dare. He's the guy who's downstairs, I believe. Like Yandere, Sundere. And that'll be first three as well. Okay. Best of five. So, yeah. Right, so we have... Um, who a lot of people would say is... Europe's best phone on in New Zealand and Jin, I think he's London's 57th Eltonham. We have a lot of them here. Um, yeah, I haven't actually seen Jin play ever. Uh, but Muda. I know I knew Muda comes here a lot to play uh, Unist with the groups. Yeah. Uh, and I never hear him complaining about anything, so I'm guessing he must be good. Yeah, he's pretty good. <laughs> he yeah, he did really well. Um, I forgot we got a Revo. He did really well though. Um, yeah, he, he is he's definitely our, our best phone on. Yes. Our only phone at the moment. He's, he's like one of our most solid players in the UK. Knows his stuff. So you got Jin on El Elfenum? Elfenum? Yep, Jin is Elfenum. We've got Muda on phone on. So Altenham, a character that can basically do everything. There's nothing she can't do. She's like the super cool, well-rounded character. Um, are they getting into it or is this, a, this looks like a button check? This looks like a button check, yeah. Yeah, they're just checking the buttons to make sure everything works. As someone who's going to play Eunice, uh, the, I guess they have variable health. Variable like, health, yeah. Yeah, like, yeah, it will change. So like in Tekken, you have everyone that has the same health. Yeah. So in this game, it's all like... In US, I, I do believe, yeah, everyone has slightly higher or lower health, but it's not like a marginal difference. It's not like a BB tag where everyone, where some people have like 1.5 times as health. Yeah. As like the weak characters. Um, okay. But usually what will happen is if you, if you get your full combo every time you pick up, you'll have to open the opponent up about three or four times. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, then she's been dashing in, getting a little bit of damage tacked on him by Keelan, by Muda. Opens him up with a block string there, dive kick. Should convert into the full combo. Block and gets an assault overhead. Once again with the front and bar. Going full screen now. Jin, the one with the low health, needs to play on the offensive. Um, yeah. I just popped him. Like, yeah, why did I pop him? There we go. Yeah. Perfect before. And this is yeah. looking very, uh, very aggressive player yeah. from Muda. There is. I like that he's just gone for his like his like character, not like no sandbagging. Just going straight. Nah, nah. He he. That, that, with that, with you know, everyone has their character and they will play that character. Unless unless they play, it's like one of the person who play basically everyone to like a decent level. Oh, man. For the most part, everyone has their name and they'll play only them. Jin there, failing to block the cross up, taking. Man, that's like third? A third of your life out there? Third of your health. That was, that was the optimal bread and butter with the meter finish. About 3.9k tanks on that. Okay, some damage on the board. And he's able to convert it. Elton okay. does have quite a lot of full screen pickups um, in um, the. I 
forget which move it is, but the, the, the meter lays up. And also, if she hits you with a gun while you're in the air mm -hmm. um, at full screen as a high counter, she can she can go make a cup of tea, put a kettle on. Yeah, got all day to make that, make that combo. Then you can run over and get that full combo converted. Easy peasy. Okay, showing signs of life here. Gonna take her to the corner? Yeah, we, uh, uh, a bit late on the gun conversion there. Oh uh, no. Yeah. Cost him his life. No, but no, that was an alright showing. You know, he yeah. was he had no health, but he was more than willing to like try and make something happen. Yeah. That's like one of the most important things, because you know anything can happen. Yeah. Just gotta make make your boy guess a few yeah. times. Jin right now, I kind of feel like he's swinging every chance he has until he real until he sees the opportunity to until he, until he figures out where he can actually hit Mudra out of his out of his blood strings or out of his options. And um, he's kind of swinging at everything and, and figuring out what works and what doesn't. I think Mudra, as soon as he realizes that he's finding those gaps, he's gonna change. He's gonna, he's gonna close yeah, up yeah. his blood strings. Yeah. Um, Phone has Phone on's five C. The, the, uh, I, the, it's very hard to, to describe them when they're all the same move. Basically, it's all the one with everywhere. the whip. The one with the whip. So there's yeah. so five C is a two hit, and it leaves a natural frame gap if you convert it straight into two A, or you can leave a blank to do a progress. Uh, so she has a natural frame gap there in the block strings where it's like so right there that little one two move. Um, like the whip up and the whip down, that can naturally frame trap into a 2A or move it blank, go for something else, keep the block string open, make it they can mash in there, close it up next time. Um, but yeah, Bonon is not shy of any gaps in that block string. Elton, though, has second, the second best stagger pressure in the game next to Enki Dude. No, the other way around. Elton has incredible stagger pressure when she is actually in the face. The, the amount of time she has in between, the amount of time she has to attack when she's on the top of her, any, any hit, is immense. So, so many chances to mix up the timings and give your opponents opportunities to match. Man, that was speedy, that was a quick. A lot very, quicker than first game. Muda, Muda finding his pace here, he's like coming into his own. Yeah. Maybe he's uh, download complete. Yep, yeah, download's there. He's, yeah, he's given Jin the, the opportunities to mash. He's closed them up in the second game. Jump back fireball is the optimal beginning to any photo start. You're safe from any most fan start options. You jump back in with the fireball, you are approaching with a bit of a first on your phone. Um, jump back fireball is his phone on smooth for There we go, this combo's going like There we go, good yeah. end up. Ooh. And then we Open see another again. Oh, I think that must have been a miss input. Yeah. Flies in full screen. Fireball here. Yeah. And then the combo with him goes away. Not able to get that conversion. Both players get a bit of a pinch. One good combo. Not able to quite convert there, but even phone on playing the character that is better full screen is going to yeah. is going to be the better. You know, running with set point here. There. Luda looking like he might be closing this out to being three zero. Jin got some answers here. Jin got a, a pretty good combo there. That super is over. Okay. You have to remember that. Okay. We'll see a classic conversion. Muda, Muda knows how to get his, his, his conversions off the phone. And if he gets any sort of straight hit, if he's able to just get them into the air and convert into the JA side kick, that's he's going to full conversion from there. Um, he's very good with all of his combo routes without any sort of how, random hits. How close is he going to get here? A little bit left. Come on, Jin. Still in the room. Nope. <laughs> For a little bit, not not having any reason to approach, but assaults in, and Jin is going to get a very good conversion off of it. 3k is nothing to laugh at. But that's it. That's it. JA. That's a wrap. 3 0 out. clean. Very swift. I, I think Jin put on a very good show there. All things considered, like, Muda. Yeah. Muda's good. All things and considered. And that, that was definitely a good, well contested match. Especially those last few rounds, he started getting a few more combos yeah. and conversions. Started like making things happen. Yeah, I think in the very first game, he there was a combo which he dropped. 
Yeah. I think I saw the same combo in that last game and he was Yeah, it was it must have been it. a just okay. combination yeah, of yeah. nerves, not knowing the matchup properly. Mm -hmm. um, but he was very he was definitely showing signs of learning yeah, as he yeah, went, yeah. but not learning in time. Yeah, I reckon, a few, I reckon a few more games he would have yeah. got around a uh, full game on the board. Yeah, yeah, that's our first set. Second up, what have we got? Next up's gonna be you, I think. Hey, let's do it. What are we talking about? Oh, Rebel Sphere. Hey, come Rebel Sphere, man. That's where, all, that's where all the units can go. Every free play session, every free, every practice quarter session, come down for units. If you're around. They play Smash there too, but we don't... Yeah, look mm. how busy it is. <laughs> yeah, look, look how packed it is, dude. It's mad. Wild six Wild people. Gamers. A six-man bracket. Six? Yeah. Is it six? You know One, two, three, four, five. It's five. <laughs> I'm so good at mathematics. <laughs> and that algebra. I would have come if you'd known we were delaying the start of it. Really? Yeah. Well, like, okay. You, you... But it's too late now, obviously. Yeah. I was, I was kind of expecting some new, new bases. I've never seen Dom before, though. Um, but I'm, I, I was expecting a couple of new bases. Alright. Yeah. Ah, right. Nah, no, no fresh bases this time. Hopefully, if we keep it up, we'll uh, have we'll some more coming uh, I'll probably be on stream next, so I'll try. Yeah. Fill your pockets a bit more. Wow, okay. Is it just a winner takes all? Yeah, I think it sounds like it, yeah. I mean, we're only five people. Yeah, for sure. I mean, you can make it like 15. Yeah. Unless you want to put it in a pop Might be on the card. Might be on the card. Okay. No pop bonus, maybe a three pop Works for me, I was going to spend the winnings if I won. Yeah. On a cocktail, you're right. Uh, let's get uh, Liam, you good to play? Yeah, man. Uh, Liam and Muda. Really? Yeah. Fine. I mean, it's a road rock. It's we'll a road We'll get out of the way now, in case yeah. it ends up in the finals. Alright. Yeah, anyone who did tune in, um, you're about to witness a day in my life. Now, this will be a, this will be a close one. Uh, we're going to run this game without a commentator because I have to be behind the bar. But uh, thank you for tuning in. And yeah, this should be a good one.
Uh, Muda, you're player one side, yeah? Cool. Yeah. 
do I have my uh, ghost in the shell doing this the uh, score updates for me are my Brighton boys coming through <laughs> oh no set point set point here now for Muda let's see let's see if a uh, 2v can make something happen okay well it's not not going well so far <laughs> oh get scrapped Yeah, stuck in the corner. Muda not looking like he wants to let him out of there. Put that boy in the cage. Hey, hey. What's the reset gonna be? Oh, raw super. No punish. Maybe it's safe. I don't know. Q pokes. <laughs> it is safe. That's been confirmed. I figured it would have got punished otherwise.
Next up will be, um, we've got Great Old One against Muda, uh, still first to three. Uh, in 13 minutes, my assistant manager will be here to run my bar for me and now I'll probably be on commentary full stop. Until then, please enjoy the uh, wonderful scene, the wonderful scenes of uh, Unist. Thank you.
カンドクローズディバイド
見せてあげましょう年季の違いを。
names everybody this is a uh, gin on the left yeah. and polyberry on the right gin no, yeah. lasers we are getting another round let's uh, let's spit these names super duper quick ah, this is what you're See, I was gonna do it but I didn't know uh, so it's gin on the left G yeah it's Gion on the left that's what I typed gin and Paul's there why does it not do this? Because you're putting a slash at the start. Alright, save slash update. No, no, mind you fucked it. What have I done? Oh, do I have to enter it? Do I have to save it first? Alright, clear that. Get that out. Enter. Holy Derry. Enter. The end. They entered him as Paul Derry. I don't know what's happening with this this uh 
Bro, by the time you get this updated, the round will be over. Right, let's just pretend. Let's pretend they're yeah. yeah. So, um. Eltham is doing Eltham. Oh, hold up, hey, yeah. Just like hits you one time, yeah, spreads meter, and then kills you. I was doing good work. Oh, the little dash back, not punishing That's the robot. That's plus 3 it and then did 6B, which no one can block. Those three guns, Polly tries to roll through it, but gets hit by the uh, second or third shot. And low shield. This is Lene's like, best practical starter, but instead of going for a full combo, Polly goes for a bullshit reset, because he's like that. Oh, yeah. He ends, he has to make it safe into catching the polka. Double jump. He actually had, watch the mix. 5A throw. Tick throw. Oh, just about bench pencil. There we and go. We're going to trade with that. Great end throw. Okay, here we go. Here we go. The, the scores final are. Final rounds. Yeah. The scores Polly's are incorrect. on two and uh, Jin's, Jin's also on one. You can tell Jin's from the, on one. Yeah. Oh yeah, Jin's on. Yeah, so ignore the numbers at the top of the stream overlay, just look at the ones that are above the, the health bars. We'll, up we'll update them properly after this one. Yeah, we need to figure with it out. Elton presses 2v but doesn't get a combo. That shit does like 3.5k. Roll back, gets a combo, but probably not able to convert it properly. EXTN is like does he pick it up? Pale oh, he was getting like the tip of each hitbox. If he'd have picked it up, he would have been a god of multi men. Yeah, I mean... Polly's one hit away from winning if he can actually get the pickup. And there it was, and he doesn't take that's, the. That's just like minus twenty, but he just bro, let it run. Bro, that okay, was this is that it, was this is it for real. Yeah, that's it. Just CBO, bro. Wait, doesn't have CBO. Just get, a, <laughs> just swag on him. There we go. Hooray! Hooray! And the stream overlay updated itself somehow. Oh, it took a while. But it's also wrong. <laughs> oh, it just takes a while to sit. All right, fine. All right, so this thing's just extremely slow. So uh, that was. Eventually, three one. Three, one. You know, I'll, I'll put I'll put it in for the bench. I mean, you've got P two and P one the wrong way around, but it doesn't really matter at this point, does it? The P. What happened with the scores? They just went to zero on their own. I'm so confused. All right, cool. Okay, I'll come pick again. Commentate my life. So we got Lene versus Merkava. Merkava's big noodly boy who can keep you all day if he wants to. And Lene, small anime girl who wants to run at you and get in as fast as possible. Real uh, duality of gameplay going on here. Uh, EX here is like our way in since so he's got some invincibility and he gets a pick up after connects, but it's not fully invincible. And as you can see there, it just kind of whips sometimes. Here's the worm setup. You gotta respect it or guard thrust out. It's a good use of resources, but uh, Liam immediately wakes up with EXDP and says, No, I don't care. It's not your turn. Stay on it. Nice. Staggered into a 2C there to catch him trying to walk back. Oh, does a dirty cross under 4B. This should get him the corner and a setup if he doesn't mess it up. Yep, there it is. No low flight, so probably just DPs on it. Doesn't need to respect anything. Uh, catches a low shield from Liam with the overhead. This is uh, Lene's best starter. It's the one that lets her pretend she has good damage. Wakes up, blocks, but then immediately mashes, gets counter hit. 
this this should be it. Oh no! Never mind. Assault overhead seals the deal. Just enough damage to take him out. Nice TK Cougar right here. A bar two b shit seven frames. It's gigantic, and he gets perfectly reasonable corner carry damage out of it. And he should win Vorpal too. Oops. Yeah. Lads from Mullingar here already offer Merkava support as, and then make him side switch when he doesn't want it. Cool. Uh, tries to FF the fireballs, but there's two of them, and the second one catches him. No conversion, but you know it's like a thousand damage. Three seed into fireball is really annoying to deal with. The best way is to uh, just DP in the gap because there's nothing he can do to keep stay DP safe if you block the three seed. Um, wow. Yeah, just mash after your reversal gets blocked because fuck it. Like, you're getting punished or you're not. Ride or die. And that, that reversal... I think it's like not super unsafe compared to like your average DP. Doesn't have full involved, but like he messes off and goes into the corner of the screen, so. Yeah. Mercava goes pretty much like half screen with any solid confirm. He doesn't have enough to go into worms, though. Just makes him block a meaty 4B. Takes his turn, staggers into 3C, staggers into overhead, into EX arms, and then catches Poly turn and dash block in with a dash B. This time he should set worms, and we'll see if he gets anything out of it. Low flight JA, nice. Uh, though Polly blocks it, he doesn't get to keep his turn. And he goes for a really questionable goal throw. Oh, this will hurt. Well, not that much because he can't convert it. I was lucky at the wrong player's meter. Uh, yeah. Liam is like going for a lot of these three saves, and they're basically all working because. The best pot he's been able to put up his resistance is a dash block. That's not really getting him very much. Staggers into EX arm, just goes into EX fireball to get the knockdown. Doesn't delay it, so he doesn't get as much frame advantage as possible, but it still gives him the screen advantage. Enough time to charge Vorpal. He's gonna win the cycle because of those blocks he built now, probably. No, nope, back tech costs him it. No, wait, no, never mind. Uh, it didn't. I thought it did, but it didn't. Uh, he won it just in time for the uh, grid loss and not losing the cycle. Mashes 2B out. Yeah, Polly really needs to figure out an answer to this 3C pressure, otherwise he's not going to get very far. Uh, like, Liam's just doing it to reset pressure constantly, and either Polly is letting it fly or getting hit and dying. He won the run. 3C into flight. That's going to get even better in CLR when you just air back dash out of it to try and, like, juke your DP. Mujin, minus one. Uh, tries to press a button that's... Uh, Six frames or slower, gets mashed out by uh, 2B, which is 7. He loops some pressure. Yeah, there's the 3C. No, dash full screen, fireball. He's really a plus if he does the fireball that takes him full screen. Uh, but, you know, not so plus if he can run it all the way over and be completely safe. Nice Linnae's turn for corner pressure. Liam just VOs out, wants none of this. With VO damage, this. This could maybe even kill if he does a good run. No, he drops it. But the next touch should almost definitely win him the run. Dash B, arms. EX arms, oh my god! Catches him back dashing, that's it. Good stuff. Those arms are difficult to challenge. So trying to create some space isn't the worst option. But yeah, special cancelling into EX arms to catch the back dash is a great option, honestly. <laughs> Sub, so, two games up for Liam. If he can take one more, then that'll be the set. It's really just gonna come down to these three Cs, I feel like. Although, it helps if you can stand block with frame 31 overhead. That helps too. Mash it out with the tick throw, but Polly DPs when he's uh, minus because you don't wanna hold that. Why would you hold that? Why ever let your opponent take their turn? Put it all on the table. Roll those dice. I mean, it worked out, right? He gets to keep the corner. Liam mashes 5 BB up, but no convert, so pretty minor punish on the whole. Dash up, throw, nice. Doesn't get the full mash, but it's still pretty reasonable damage. 3C, fireball, yep. He's plus, full screen. He gets arms shielded, but uh, CS is out of it, so he's not like minus 17. But still eats a TK Kuga, so that's the round for Polly. Wow. 
That was either the boldest call out or a miss input. I have no idea. But it definitely didn't work. Time to stagger pressure, but he whiffs. Liam mashes out, takes his turn. Does arm into EXR, which I think has maybe caught two people ever, even though he does it so often. Again, not a full mash on the throw, so not as much damage as it could be, but you know, it's still reasonable damage. Mashes out of the overhead. That's one answer. You don't need to block, just press buttons. Who gives a fuck? Take him to the corner. Bring in the lads. Don't bring in the lads. Okay, you had the meter, but you didn't do it. Do it as an overhead mix, but be too far out to actually catch him. Tick throwed by the worms, nice. That wasn't actually full mash because the worms got two hits in, but let's pretend it was. Empty Assault CS catches back dash with dash B, but then just reverse beats into 2A. Bit scrambly here, but if Liam can get one more solid hit, he can take the round. Lene doesn't have enough damage output to seal it here, but yeah, EX2 gotta make it safe. JA is just to keep him. Oh, that should be it, that should be it, yeah. Whiffs the overhead, punishes with arms. There we go. Match point for Liam. He knows. Hail 3C into 2B. That's disgusting. Oh my god. Uh, into the corner. Here we go. Uh, combo's a bit too scaled, so he actually gets to tech out of the worms, but they're gonna follow you. Empty jump over his head and then throw. These are some layers we're on right now. CS 2B. Try and throw punish the back dash, but Lene's airborne during her back dash, so it doesn't catch it. Rising JC, counter hits him, then he 2Bs. Full screen overhead into arms, just like, hey, did you think about dash blocking? Well, I hope you did it well. You should be able to seal the... Never mind. Why? He just needs one hit, and there it is. Full screen IC 5C. Trades with Kuga, but it doesn't matter. Rio for Liam. Alright, alright. You missed the Y in his name. It's Polly there. Polly there. Yeah. Ah, uh, I'm an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Have I got to play anyway? No, you're not. What's the score then? There's a 3 0 to me. So many free zeros today. Okay guys, next up we have uh, Muda and Polydare. Uh, last game of the round robin sets. After this, the top two players from the round robin will go on to play a grand winner's final. That was fast. Are we ready through the round robins? Yeah. Oh sweet. I know, super quick. Um, but we've got, you know, we've got two more setups here. Uh, so if anyone wants to play casuals afterwards, more than welcome. Good day for it. Uh, now I'm tempted to stream something else afterwards. I'm in a streaming mood now. I want to get like someone bring a switch and we'll hook it up. <laughs> we'll start doing some uh, secret sets. Yeah, some Smash going. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's up. Uh, it's probably. How about we don't do Fortnite? It's um. <laughs> it's probably Polly Derry, like Mono uh. Polly. Alright, going straight into game one. Zona versus Rushdown. It's going to be a whole lot of Polly trying to find his way in past all of the moves that Muda is able to throw out. Keeping him at bay with his crowd too. Out. Polly running in, getting a little, little, getting a little bit of a block from his own. He's finding hits that he's not able to fully convert off of him at the moment. That fireball is going to get a conversion. Polly with the chain shift. The chain shift dragon. There we go, pop a name on the board now. With the reversal, but Rita not able to punish it. With a whiff, well oh, okay. good little cross up. Yeah. You're gonna take Muda to the corner here. Oh! If I get into full conversion, you could get a bit of damage there. Is this? Could convert off of this and meet a giant. Hey, 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 hey. Look at it, do it! No! No! That's a heartbreaker! No! I was sure that man was dead. I was sure that man was dead. And he's gonna convert that ball. No, not getting the dive here. Okay. 
back to right, jump yeah. that fireball into grab. Wow, that conversion from the full screen is insane. Yeah. Muda is, is very, very good at getting the conversion. Yeah, conversion. really consistent. Should this be a wrap? This should be a wrap. Okay. There you go, one on the board from Muda. Okay, go straight for me up. That is game one in swift fashion. Yeah, Muda here really powering through this entire racket in this round, Robin. Yeah. I think it's been three zeros across the board. Across the like, board, as in a single game. Nope. As in a single set. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, all of our more like powerful <laughs> players. Literally, all of them, they weren't available today. Yeah, well, they're all at the lab. Yeah, uh, yeah, no, yeah. No, they're not a lab, but um, all the these players are the best out in the modern around, are best. Got a guy who plays Yuzu, who's really good, he's not around. Oh, that's such um, a shame. Yeah, it would have been nice to have a bit more of racket, but no, we've had my still Van Robin as well. Yeah. As well over yet, we might get someone to have a comeback on uh, Mood and Grand Finals. Just got to be him, take three games of him, it's doable. It's, yeah. Hopefully he, he, he finds an opening soon because that was a very swift perfect. Mm. Yeah, let's Keep see if uh, Dad can find his uh, footing here. Maintaining both of his concentration, but he does get it beforehand. See if he's able to get the grid cycle before the chain shift ends. Even if he doesn't, that full conversion is going to net him 3k. Good stuff. He's ahead in both so he's going to get vocal during the combo. Got the meter to make this 4k, see if he does it. There we go. Absolutely good. Bonon actually has the second most uh, highest damage output, while being, yep. on a, while being a Zona. <laughs> it's gross. Yeah, like, I've seen stuff from like full screen, which has just done like absurd damage. Yeah. And all day to react to the hit confirm. It's not. It's like, what is this? How does she place in the uh, tier list? Uh, she's she's definitely high tier. I think. She's okay, okay. Just, she's just below like the the top characters. The top is Seth, Yuzu, and oh, I've forgotten the last one. I can't remember for the life of me. But Fono is definitely up there. She is a very very solid character. Yeah, I can tell just from like the way she abuses some of these normals is really good. Yeah. Or why is she with normals? Carly ignoring <laughs> all of that though, running right past the jump back fireball. As safe as it is if someone goes for a round start bot and someone runs underneath it, not much you can do about it. Probably here trying his best to like keep up in her face here, but Bonan's slowly finding her way out the corner. Gets the grab. The meter okay. fireball is gonna get him a good conversion. That's a 2k starter. He plays the cards right. Yep, 3k nice. Seven Jump back shield, not gonna get caught out. The the jump the jump back shield is a very um, unique uh, option select that he, that he was going for because when you jump back in shield, uh, if the opponent tries to shot with the throw, it whiffs because they're in the air. Okay. And if you go for a low or any like low hitting mid, mm -hmm. it'll whip because they're, in, yeah. they're in the air. The only way you can really call it out is with a fat anti enemy. Yeah. Um, but it's not something that you uh, want, that you immediately think of calling out because it's not very common uh, OS. Yeah. Um, so probably not calling it out there. Mood here, he's got the pace on him. Looking like this might be another perfect. Yeah, probably there winning that last round, and now Muda finding his answer. It's yeah, there we go. Casting with the corner switch. That's what? player specific. What? what an answer. That's player That's, specific. Yeah. If Fogon is on player is on player one side, she can whiff JA on the player two side, on the right side of the corner. And if and the hitbox detection will, move, will switch the characters places. She, so she corner switches without pulling the opponent out of the corner. It's gross. It's just, that is disgusting. It's just That's crazy. foul. It is a ve it's it's a very shenanigans move. Mm. I'm gonna do it. Like if you don't know, if you don't have the knowledge, you're not ready for it. Yeah, yeah. You're not gonna like, and the amount of times you see that in general, like, you have to know. Yeah. Five eight, five eight. Yeah. So he gets a hit, but he does not get the opening. Is it? 
that, however, there we go. Puts one on the board. Breaking the 3 0 stream. Yep, there Takes we go. Takes a game off of Muda. Now, only now only 95% clean now. <laughs> His sheets. And with no hesitation, we're going straight into game four. Oh, yeah. Fireballs. Polly, he's getting these little chips in, but he's not getting the conversions he needs. If Polly can find the confidence he had in that last game, then he's going to, like, could run away with this. Depends how shook, I mean, Muda, he's played, I'm sure, hundreds of points. He knows exactly, yeah. he's been in this position a thousand times. Absolutely, Polly is one of he's the people that, that we play quite a lot of Red Bull. Mm -hmm. um, there's a venue on practice up on Fridays up in Manor House, uh, North London, that we all go to. Uh, so we, we, all, we all play each other quite a lot. Um, and, yeah, we've got, we all know each other in and out. It's infinite worth just about what we yeah, but the jump at Fireball is going to catch the dash in. It's hardly on this tournament game right now. Yeah, so, uh, Muda's sheet 92% clean. That's confirmed by Michelangelo, please. That's uh, Michelangelo, yeah. doing the math for us. He's the, uh, he's the man who runs the uh, FGC in Brighton. Oh, amazing. Uh, looking out for us here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh man, that was such great timing in that button push, just like, man. Secret to a conversion, doesn't fully convert it, doesn't matter. at the moment. He is behind on life, though. And with a heavy piece of one makes the approach, does find his opening. Should see the bread and butter finish here. 4k, just underneath it. Down by Bible. Safe jumps with the, the reversal. Mm -hmm. Excellent timing there. And that punish a clean should punch be a fail of combo straight into it. Easy to yeah. And that's, that's three a three one to Polly. That's the end of uh, the three one to Muda. That's a wrap on the round robins. We're gonna have challenge do the math for us and tell us who our top two are. Calculate who our top two are. I feel I want to say I'm in top two. <laughs> I want to say I'm there. Even even though Keelan, even though Muda washed me, I feel like it's us in top two. That's that's how I'm feeling. Yeah, except for you. It was a, it was a, it was two, it was two three and three one for me, and a three o, a three o against you, oh uh, three against you. So it should be me. Yeah, yeah. We'll see, we'll see what challenge says. Yeah, see if challenge, Ch says Ch challenge agrees with you. So in first place yeah. we have Muda with a clean four zero zero. Uh, second place we have Liam with three one zero. Polly Dare two two. Jin one three and Great Old one with zero four. Unfortunately. Uh, so we're now going to do our grand finals, which is a first to three. There's no reset here. So it's all to play for, you get one set, winner takes home the prize, second place gets a consolation cocktail. But we'll uh, see how these guys do. You're the only person to take a game off him today. <laughs> it can be done. Just waiting for the uh, gentleman to come back from the uh, bathroom and then we'll be kicking off the finals. I'm fighting all my urges to stream Street Fighter 5 here. <laughs> just, just me in training mode. Did you bring a Samurai Showland disc with you by any chance? I did, yes. You did? You can, you're welcome to install it on a stuff if you like. I'm not sure if anyone here plays Samurai. Yeah, I'm not sure if Does anyone here play Sam Show? Uh, I played after Lisa that and I was like, okay. just for like, wow, wow, I'm a Sam Show player. Yeah? Yeah, install it on, um, I think that one's mine, I think. Yeah, install it on that one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, I think it's...
So Muda's put his first round on the board. Uh, this is first three. I'm not sure if Liam has the adaptive mantations to make a big change here. That's gonna throw Muda. Oh. <coughs> but let's see what. Jump on and Alright guys, Liam's actually making a good start here. Just needs one more hit to make this his own round. There we go. One one round apiece. One round apiece. Rumor has it Muda tried to DP, but I don't believe it. <laughs> here we go. What's Liam got? Eight, eight, eight. No, you Oh man, that's disgusting to jump back and get a little conversion for that. Okay, throwing fireballs. Liam more than happy to play that long range game, but I feel like Fonon can just contest it so easy as well. And probably gets a much bigger reward from the straight hits that she does get. Here we go. So Liam's in the corner. Fonon slowly strategizing his way in. Man, this pressure is so good. Doesn't get the, a full combo there, but next hit could take it. Yep, got to hold all that. There we go, one on the board for Muda. See how these guys uh, take it to the next game. Muda getting a lot of free throws here. Gets a grab of his own. Okay. Gets an alright conversion. Oh man, there's some uh, people here playing Marvel vs. Capcom 3 in the corner. I'm like, hmm, ooh, I love that game. Might have to jump on at some point. Maybe I should commentate the Marvel 3 instead. <laughs> anyway. Both players feeding each other out from full screen. That looks like uh, Kami conversion doesn't get that big a combo, but it does get some damage on the board. Here we go. Liam on the verge of taking this first game. Just needs one more clean hit, one more good combo, and it's all going to be good. There we go, there we go. Eight, eight, eight. Oh no, cracks his defense. Next hit could take it. Oh, these blocks high, low, low. Gets thrown, not dead. Oh no. When's Marvel? Marvel's right now. We've got uh, one guy playing Nemesis, Felicia, and Morrigan. And we've also got uh, Deadpool, Ryu, and Ghost Rider. Okay. Liam here, working on perfect. Keeping that pressure up. Gonna do the fireball thing. Nope. Oh, scoop. Eight, eight, eight. Oh. oh. This is probably the, uh, yeah, that's the cleanest rat. Is this gonna be it? Hey, hey, come on. Come on, boy. Oh, the pressure. Finds the punish. Is this about to be the magic pixel comeback? Poke. Yeah, Liam just wants to kind of poke and just find that one opening. No, not like this. Not like this. Cross up gets blocked. Scoop. None of these scoops contested so far. Oh, walks into it. There we go. Almost a disaster. Liam owes me a drink. 
Oh, remind him of that shy BMX. Okay, another free throw. A lot of throws happening on a phone on side here. Okay, I'm not gonna drop this. Keeps positioning. Keeps in the corner. Little cheeky cross up. And another throw. All this, this free throw damage is just you know, building up. Definitely making a difference in these matches. And another throw! So many throws. Liam. Liam <laughs> contemplating what he can do to make an adapt adaptimentation here. Okay, here we go, back into it. Hey, hey. <laughs> Tries to throw of his own. Oh, this this throw game from uh, Muda really working out well here. Eight, eight. Okay, clean anti here. Okay, he gets a bit of damage on the ball, but he's going to need to do a lot more than that. Merkava getting murked. Not good. Muda, is he going to move on to set point? Almost there. Damage? Yeah, there we go. So, set, game, set, tournament point here for Muda. About to take himself home some prize money. A whopping 25 pounds. Shy BMX, maybe you should be asking uh, Muda for some drinks. The man with the, uh, the dough. Liam trying to find an answer here. But big whiff and a clean punish. Oh, doesn't doesn't block the high. Trying to navigate this precious these precious rings. Trying to find his way out, but man, look at this. A A A A. GG's, that's a wrap. GG's. Well done to both our finalists for a great showing. Well done to Muda. Absolutely cleaning up the entire tournament. Only dropped only dropped one game. You're donating your cocktail. That's very admirable. I admire that. Thank you for everyone for tuning in. Uh, thank you everyone for attending. And uh, yeah, hope you're doing some more FGC tournaments soon. 93.75% clean uh, mood is gameplay here today. Uh, we will be running more tournaments in the future. We're thinking of doing something uh, Ultra Street Fighter 4 and Marvel related come December. Uh, that will probably be on the 7th, but we're going to see. Tell Jordan behind you I said hi. I will pass that along. Uh, thank you, everyone, for tuning in. And, uh, yeah, we'll catch you all soon. That was Meltdown's uh, Unis Tournament. We're out. <laughs>